Welcome back to part two of the longboard tutorial. And this is what came out when we did the modeling in Alias. And now we want to do visualization. So first of all, we have hardware shade in Alias, but this is just default materials and doesn't look very realistic. So I want to show you how to use AI for visualization. And the final result, which will come out, is something like that. So this is stable diffusion. So first, let's have a look on the workflow. So I'm in Alias now, and I have that model with hardware shade on. And now I take a screenshot so I can do a snip or I just go there somewhere. Uh, in export, we have that current window export, and there are uh, possibilities to do PNGs or JPEGs and specify the image size and so on. And then I open my stable diffusion environment, which is this one, and I have automatic 1111. And now let's see what happens. Now we take that longboard picture and drag and drop it into. It. So be sure that you switched from text to image to image to image. Now it's useful to have also a description, so some prompts on it. Longboard wooden deck. Green wheels will help us, and there will be some other settings we have to do uh, before we can start the whole process and the calculation. So we have to have a so-called safe tensor, which is kind of database for the calculation. Now, uh, um, important for us is uh, what we want to get as an output. So it's a 512, 512 picture at the moment. So I change that one and I increase the uh, number of pixels up to 1200, let's say, and I need to have also uh, 700 as the height. And I want to have as a batch count, I have, let's say, three proposals of pictures which will come out. Then uh, I just want to also uh, mention the sampling method which is the algorithm uh, base for, for a calculation. Um, and at the bottom, there is the so-called denoising strength. So we have a first try, and then I will explain what it's good for. Um, so in this case, I just start it and see what comes out first. So depending now uh, on your uh, computer, it's calculating longer or faster. So, But what comes out looks kind of weird, and i tell you why. So the first proposal which we get is some longboard with uh, some extra wheels at the back here. Um, the second one has an extra wheel here on the left. And this one also is a longboard with a six wheeler. So amazingly, we have very different results here. For, and it's not one of them which we can choose because they don't have anything to do with my uh, longboard from from alias so so how can i get it closer to what i have in my screenshot and that's the denoising strength that's exactly what we have to examine in this case when it's 0 0.75 you give stable diffusion a lot of freedom and stable diffusion calculates yeah in a in a very very uh free way so if i go down with a number to 0 0.5 or even less, so let's say 0 0.3, something like that, then it's a very strong uh, rule to have be as close as possible to what we have as the image which is given. And now let's calculate again and see the three proposals which come out now with denoising strength three. And as you can see, this is a a lot, lot better result. It's very close. The shape is exactly the same. But look at the wheels. The wheels look pretty, pretty realistic compared to what we have in our screenshot from Alias. Now let's check the other ones. So we have also, again, three of them, which do not have so many differences. Um, and we go through each one of them. So this is the first one. And here we have a second one. The second one is nice. I think this is the one I like most here. And also the third one is pretty good because I'm just curious uh, what will come out if I have more freedom for the longboard. Uh, I can just change the denoising strength again and do another calculation. And you -hoo, here we've got a result which is quite amazing and quite close to what we have as a screenshot from Alias. And so I would take this one, for example. Let's see the other ones. Yeah, that's not better than the one before. This one would look nice from the design, but the wheel is, is kind of weird. 
There are possibilities of improving the pictures, of course, but in this little tutorial, I just wanted to show the workflow, the general workflow. So just a recap of what we did. We started stable diffusion and uh, the platform I'm running it is automatic 1111. So the interface, let's say, and the thing I used as a safe tensor is Juggernaut Aftermath safe tensor. And also I have image to image, of course. So I put in my screenshot here. And the important things is I need some width and age, of course. And of course, I need to play around with denoising strength. You saw that's the most important thing. You can be very close to the, to the original screenshot and you can be quite far away with a six wheeler, what we had in the beginning. But now we have it and this is our final result. And I go to save and that's it.